Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So today I'm going to be doing or trying to do an all shimmer eye look. I've never tried to do an all shimmer eye look from what I can remember at least. So I'm going to be using the ColourPop Golden State of Mind palette. The reason I chose to do an all shimmer eye look and to do this palette is because... I've never used it. I've only swatched it. I really feel like I should be using it. So here we are trying to create an all shimmer look. I know some people go in with some mattes before, but what if this is the only palette someone has? Like they need to be able to create a look with this palette. And also I just kind of want to challenge myself to be able to do it. So I think I'm going to go for kind of a glowy look with shimmer eyelids and a matte liquid lipstick but I don't really know how it's gonna turn out, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start off by prepping my skin with two of like the oil serum things. So I'm using this Valjean Labs Restore one, and it's from Marshalls. And then also this Skin Diva 100% Pure Hyaluronic Acid Serum. These have both been my holy grails go-to, so I've actually not been using my Clean & Clear Gel Moisturizer, and I've been using these recently, and I have loved these together so i first put on this one and then i put on this one this one was sent to me through octoly and honestly this is like the key to glowy skin i've heard a lot about hyaluronic acid lately and if you want glowy skin this is the way to go it's not too oily and it's really good the link will be in the description if you would like to buy it yeah i'll show you what it looks like so i just put on the restore one which is like the pinky one and honestly this is what cleared my skin like my skin has not been breaking out near as much recently and i'm blaming it on that serum but i'm going to use this skin diva one i honestly have nothing bad to say about this um i think that if you have dry skin which mine is kind of both i would say if you have dry skin this would work really well for you because it's really hydrating and it really helps with glowier skin. I'm just gonna quickly prime my eyelids with the Wet n Wild concealer and I'm just gonna set it with some powder. Okay, I have no idea what I'm gonna do for my eyes. Like, I don't know what type of tone I'm gonna go for. I think I might do a rosy type of look. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for it. Um, and also I haven't decided what brushes I'm gonna use because I don't wanna get my matte fluffy crease brushes with shimmer all over them. So, you know, this is gonna be a struggle, but we can get through this together. Okay, so I think the brush that I'm mostly gonna be using is this Anastasia brush that came with my Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm gonna go in to this shade right there, and I'm just gonna start using that as maybe my transition color. There is no color, it's just sparkles. Okay, so I'm going to use this rosy color now to hopefully get some more dimension or at least maybe some color in general. Okay, so that one gave a tiny bit more color. It's still obviously really shimmery. Like, it's not going to be matte, but it's like, I have no idea how this is going to work out. Then I'm going in to this really, like, purpley type of shade. And I'm going to use the Urban Decay brush that came with the Naked 2 palette. I don't really use these brushes that often, so that's why I'm using it. Pleasantly surprised with how this is working out. This shade is actually making this look look better. Okay, I have faith in this look now. The transition shades were like, meh. But this? This is, look, this is looking better. It's looking better. I feel like the key to this is not to try to buff it out and blend, just to kind of like tap it on and then try to blend but i mean it's working out not half bad and then i'm gonna take this type of shade it's like slightly darker than the other one and i'm gonna put that even more on the outer part of my eye okay these colors are really pretty actually um and i'm gonna make mix that shade and then the shade we did before and i'm gonna put it on my lower lash line yeah, these shades are definitely more pigmented than the transition shades I used. It could just be the brush, but I like this so far. So I just quickly did two little like half cut creases. Really not too defined at all, like they're really natural. But I just did it so you can have a more of a stickier 
face. So I'm taking this shade right here. It's called Golden Egg. And I'm just going to put that on my lid. Nothing. Okay, I'm going to try spraying it. Mari Badescu. Yep, yeah, that's definitely about to be out. So, later tonight, I'm gonna watch Live PD. Oh my goodness. If you guys haven't watched that show, I would highly recommend it. It's like a cop show, but it's like live. It's my favorite show, and that's saying a lot because I literally don't watch TV that much, but... Then I'm taking this shade right here, which kind of has like a purpley undertone, but... I'm gonna put that on my brow bone and inner corner. Yeah, that's really purpley. That might have been a mistake. That shade is so purpley, but it's reminding me a lot of Cube and the subculture, which I don't have, but Isabella has. Okay, so I just finished like the eyeshadow look and I'm not super mad at it. Like I thought I would hate it, but really I liked doing that. It was definitely, it's definitely out of my comfort zone. But I don't think it turned out as bad as I thought it would turn out. So I'm now just going to put on these e.l.f. lashes and then I'll get back with you guys. And I'm going to put on mascara. But Okay, so lashes are on and I have to say I'm not the biggest fan of these. I feel like they're just too natural for my eyes because I can get my lashes like more intense than this. And also they're not that curly even if I curl my lashes. So I don't know how I feel about them, but let's just go ahead and move on to face. Now I'm going to use the concealer. Um, I'm just going to be putting it under my eyes. I'm not going to go too, too crazy with it. I'm going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette for my powder and bronzer. So I'm going to be using this powder for my powder to set my entire face. And then these two mixed together for my contour bronzer type of stuff. This is the blush I'm using. It's the Too Faced Love Flush Blush in Baby Love. I love this blush. I used it for a really good amount of time, just over and over again. And it's just the little mini size, but I think it's so cute and I really like it. Unpopular opinion, but I love blush. Like, I can't do a look without using blush. Because so many people use just bronzer and highlight, but I love blush. So, I can't do a look without blush. I think it's just, like so cute it looks good like i understand if people have naturally rosy cheeks but like i don't know i just really like how blush looks and i feel like it just ties the look together then i'm using the makeup revolution vivid by vivid baked highlighter in golden lights this is such a unique highlighter and isabella gave it to me it's pretty hard to get open but like i was saying it's a really pretty highlighter. It's really unique in my collection because it's like, it like tricks you. It's like a nice kind of almost green highlight. I don't really know, but it's really blinding when you layer it up and there's a lot that comes on the brush. So it's really cool to have in the collection. Okay, this does not go with the look at all, but it's literally like a yellowy greenish but I mean whatever <laughs> too late now then the lip I'm going to use is the Kat Von D um liquid lipstick in the shade Ludwig this one I think will look really good with the look and I love this formula so okay so this is the completed look it's kind of a hodgepodge look but honestly I'm pleasantly surprised with how the eyes turned out I thought they would turn out way worse and i had no idea what to expect coming into it but overall i think this palette is decent like i probably wouldn't really recommend it unless you want an all shimmer palette but it's just not like i don't i don't really know the word it's not i don't know but you can't really create a whole look with it i mean i did but it was a challenge and i wouldn't wear it out anywhere so i don't know how much i'd recommend it but i mean i guess it's nice to have it in the collection because because a lot of these i don't have colors like it so i mean i would rate this palette probably like a six out of, out of ten anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and comment like subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye okay thought i was done but i just realized that it looks like i have like white under my eyes because of that concealer because I didn't put it anywhere else besides under my eyes oops also my eyes look red because of these lashes